It was a family squabble that escalated into a police standoff, leaving one man dead and HPD officers wounded, including a canine officer. That's according to a family member who filed a court order against the suspect. Manolo Morales joins us from HPD headquarters with the police. Manolo? Well, Joe, of the three officers injured, one was shot in the leg and is still in the hospital. The other two were treated at the scene for minor injuries. That police canine was also shot and is expected to recover. The aftermath of the standoff shows the walls all around the house riddled with bullet holes. HPD says the standoff started around 8.30 Wednesday night. Officers were sent to a Nanakuli home to serve a man a restraining order when they saw him inside with a shotgun. Police say they repeatedly asked him to come out, but he refused. SSD officers, also known as the SWAT team, were called in and surrounded the house around midnight. The male walked in and out of the home multiple times over the next several hours displaying the shotgun. At about 4.20 a.m. this morning, the male pointed his gun at the officers. Gunfire was exchanged. Three officers fired back, fatally wounding the male. Family members have identified the man as 53-year-old Gavlin Mahuka, also known as Gabby. They say there have been problems with other siblings who were living in the house, in part because of his drug use, which they say made him violent. I spoke with one of the brothers, and he tells me that there were times when Gabby would threaten other family members by leaving pointed knives just outside their rooms. The brother tells me his wife filed the restraining order because she feared that Mahuka would go after them. Mahuka has a long criminal record that goes as far back as 1989. He's been convicted 14 times, three of them for felony charges, which include kidnapping and assault. Neighbors say they knew the family was having problems, but never expected it to end this way. I just told my I can't believe this is what's going on right now, right side, outside of our home. And it was a lot sadder for me because I've known him the majority of my life. Well, the officer who was shot was also the handler for the canine who, that was shot. We're told that both of them had surgery late this afternoon, and both are expected to recover. Joe, back to you. Thanks, Manolo. Today's shooting makes this the third officer shot in a little more than a week. Big Island officer Bronson Kaliloa was shot and killed last week Tuesday by Justin Waikiki, prompting an island-wide manhunt for the suspect. That ended on Friday afternoon when officers found Waikiki in a Toyota 4Runner in South Point. A shootout ensued. Waikiki was killed. And another officer, Sergeant Brian Tina, was shot and injured. Honolulu police tell us that Hunter, the canine that was with officers during the Waikiki shootout, was also wounded. Police say he was wearing a vest but was shot in the neck. He underwent surgery this afternoon and is expected to be okay. This is the second police dog in a span of two months to be wounded in the line of duty. Both dogs had custom-made vests to protect them from harm. The organization that delivered the donated vest says it's relieved that the wounds were not worse. That the dogs are not only a work partner, but they're also family members as well, and they go home with the officers at the end of the day, and so... We want to make sure that that always happens, that the two- and four-legged officers go home safe because it's a team. I would say that it helped. It definitely helped. If it didn't save his life, it certainly helped the dog, for sure. Sandy Marcel of Vested Interest in Canines tells us that Hunter's vest was damaged when he got shot. That means that he'll be getting a new vest.